Hey everyone, and welcome back to Harris VoiceOver. After doing a voiceover for a channel that gave not so good advice for animal attacks, I decided to do my own. I will be giving you information on the most dangerous animals in the US, how to protect yourself from them, and in general, how to act around them to prevent an attack. But before I do, remember to hit like, subscribe, and tap that notification bell to get updates on new and upcoming videos. Also make sure to stick around till the end to see the bonus animal. With that said, let's get into it. Number 10. Coyotes Coyotes are typically animals you don't run into. Like most of the animals on this list, they like to steer clear of humans as much as possible. These small dog-like creatures have been confused with wolves on occasion, so an easy way to tell the difference is their size. Coyotes average 2 feet tall at the shoulders and can weigh between 30 to 50 pounds. So if you see an animal that looks like a wolf that got washed in hot water, it's probably a coyote. Now, coyotes are by definition carnivores, but their diet is based on their environment, so its diet is omnivorous. They will go after small animals, bugs, or even fruits when they can get them. Coyotes are smart animals. If you have a small animal and coyotes are nearby, you may have heard them calling near your backyard. They have ways of pretending they are injured to lure animals towards them, and then the pack attacks. This would be just one of their many tactics. These animals are found all over North America, and they generally will only attack if they are scared and caught by surprise, a food scarcity, or have a disease. Also, if you have a toddler, you may want to keep an eye out when it comes to several of the animals on this list, because they are small and to the animals easier to take down. They would be the first these animals would go for. When going out into their territory, make sure you're making a little noise, just enough so they can hear you from a distance. They will hear you and keep away in most cases. If you do end up too close, look big and while facing them, take slow steps backwards until you are safe. Do not turn and run. Doing this with most predators will turn on their hunting instinct and they will chase you. Plus, they can run at speeds of up to 40 miles per hour. Pretty sure you're not as fast. So if you happen to be one of the unfortunate few that is attacked, then put your phone down and go for the soft spots. Hit their nose for instance, since it is very sensitive. Once the attack is over, make those slow movements again to back away, so you don't trigger another attack. Number 9. Elk This majestic creature is the elk. The elk is not by any means a small animal. They have a shoulder height of around 5 feet, so not including the head and antlers. They have an average weight of 700 pounds, though some bulls or male elk can reach up to 1,100 pounds. For comparison, the average man's height is 5 foot 9 inches and weighs about 200 pounds. The elk are found mostly in North America but can also be found in Central Asia. This animal is also a fan of staying away from humans. Plus, they're herbivores, so they aren't trying to make you part of their diet. They can be a little ornery from time to time, but most of the time only show aggression during mating season, which is in their case during the fall. If they know you're there, they will keep their distance. Though they do seem to have an issue with vehicles, if the chance does arise for a fight, get yourself high up on anything you can find, including trees, or get behind whatever you can to keep your distance. It could take some time for them to lose interest, so make sure you bring snacks. If you are being attacked, make sure to cover your vulnerable spots, and in this case, do not put your hands in the air to seem bigger. These guys will see you as a challenge when you do. Your best chance is to do your best to get away from the antlers and do anything you can to get distance between you and him. Number 8. Bison, aka Buffalo The bison is a massive creature. Just by looking at it, I'm sure you can tell it doesn't look like the type to mess with. Though people of course have and it got them hurt. This animal is very easy to stay away from since they primarily only reside in reserves and parks like Northwest Trek in Washington State, Yellowstone in Wyoming, Montana and Idaho, or the Wood Buffalo National Park in Canada. The bison get up to 6 feet tall and 2,000 pounds. They can also run at speeds of up to 40 miles per hour. So getting hit by one would be much like getting into a car wreck and you without a car. With bison, you can do the same you would with elk. Find something to hide behind or something very sturdy to climb up. They will lose interest in you just as fast as kids lose interest in their chores. Number 7. Sharks We can focus on one in particular. While there are species that attack, like tiger shark and the bull shark, the great white shark is one responsible for most of the attacks on humans. They can be found at several countries' shores including the US, Chile, South Africa, Australia, Japan, New Zealand, and around the Mediterranean. 
Great whites are carnivorous fish that will eat whatever they can get a grip on, but don't make it a point to go after humans. Their average weight is between 1,500 and 4,000 pounds, with some getting to 5,000 pounds. They can get up to 21 feet long and have an endless supply of teeth. Sharks, including this big guy, are known to have rows of teeth. So as they lose them, another row pushes forward like a tooth vending machine, just so they never miss their next meal. Staying away from these very attractive individuals is easy. Don't go in the ocean or dive into a shark tank at your local aquarium. If you do so happen to find yourself near sharks, here's what you can do. First, don't knock on the aquarium glass. It drives them nuts. If you're in the ocean, however, do not splash around. They can pick up on those movements and it will make you seem like the next meal. Your best bet around a shark is to stay calm. Do not draw attention to yourself. Keep your eyes on the shark at all times, not just to keep an eye on it, but also to get it thinking you're also a predator. It could very well lose interest. If it attacks, fight back. Hit it with everything you've got. If you happen to have a knife on hand, do not go for the top of its head because it won't get through. Stab the gills and the underside of the shark where it's softer. These animals, when given the chance for another bite, will not just bite on the second go. They will whip back and forth to shred what they have a hold of. So once it lets go the first time, get your distance. Number six, moose. While this animal is in the deer family like the elk, this guy is the biggest in this family. They can reach a weight of 1,300 pounds and get up to seven feet tall. Areas they can be found are primarily Canada and the US, and certain subspecies can be found in Siberia or Eurasia. These animals aren't normally aggressive, and most instances of injury between moose and humans usually involve a vehicle. Times they can be aggressive is during mating season, also known as the rut season. A rut season for moose is also in the fall between September and October. If there is a calf involved, that could also complicate things. Rule of thumb is to stay away. If you are being attacked, however, cover your soft spots in a fetal position. When you get the chance, get distance. They can run at 22 miles per hour, but are big. If you run, run in a zigzag pattern, since they're not agile creatures. Find something to hide behind or climb that is nice and sturdy. Given enough time, these animals will try to crush you with their NBA-sized hooves. Number five, cougar, AKA mountain lion. I know your first instinct with this big cat would be to give it a nice warm cuddle, but I would suggest maybe not to. First rule of Cougar Fight Club is to make a little noise. Make sure they know you're there. These fuzzy killers can reach up to eight feet long from the nose to the tip of the tail. Their average weight is usually between 130 to 150 pounds, but there have been some that have hit 200 pounds. So its weight is comparable to a Great Dane, but with a cat's speed and reflexes, it can hit 30 miles per hour, so running isn't much of an option here. Cougars are carnivores, and they're good at it. They have been known to even take down younger moose, so you wouldn't be much of a problem. With these particular creatures, they also don't like being around us. Your way to keep safe here is to be bigger and scarier than the cat. Put your arms up or put your backpack over your head. Make noise to scare it away from you. Also make sure they aren't focusing on your kids if they're with you, because they have dragged kids away on several occasions. If it looks at you like you hit on its girlfriend at the bar, the fight is on. Punch, kick, slap, do whatever you have to in this no rules fight because they will give up and leave if they have to work hard. Number four, snakes. We have lots of different snakes in the US. The diamondback, cottonmouth, copperhead, and the eastern coral snake to name a few. We're going to focus on the most venomous snake in North America though, the eastern coral snake. This snake is actually in the cobra family. It can reach a length between two to four feet long. Now, with snakes, there are some ways you can tell, for the most part, if they are venomous or not. Like if they have a diamond-shaped head and have cat-like eyes, they might be venomous. Or with the eastern coral snake, they have a saying, if red touches yellow, you're a dead fellow. If red touches black, you're okay, Jack. Don't use that outside of the US, though, because you could get a bad surprise. Plus, you'll only be able to tell once you're close enough to get bit. My advice is, even though it might be a beautiful snake, Stay away. Any snake you see, just stay away. The coral snake itself is a burrowing snake, meaning it might not be seen until it's too late. On the upside though, there are not many deaths recorded over the last several decades, and its first instinct is to get away from you. So in short, there is no fight to be had here. If you are bit though, get help immediately, 
as this snake's venom can kill. Number 3. Wild Boar While this animal is by far the most attractive animal on this list, it also shouldn't be cuddled. They're omnivorous animals, so yes, they will eat meat if necessary. Boars average around 220 pounds, but with the right food sources, they can get up to 400 pounds. They can also reach about 3 feet in height. Unlike most domesticated pigs, these bundles of fun are very hairy and have tusks. Boars can be found all over the globe, so aren't native to the U.S. However, they are pests over here. They cause damages to farms, orchards, and water supplies. The damages amount to around $1 billion per year to agriculture alone, which is why hunting them is a great thing for everyone, including the boars themselves. Not the hunted ones, of course. Boars are not known to get close to you on purpose. If you do bump into one, however, get your distance. Fight them off and get out of there, because if you don't, you'll find those tusks are just as good at tearing you up as they are for rooting. Number 2. Wolves There are several types of wolves in the U.S. Gray wolf, timber wolf, and red wolf. Once again, we have a carnivore. Back in 1974, these animals were listed on the endangered species list, but thanks to efforts to bring their numbers up, they've been removed from that list in most states. Like most, these guys won't bother you, but try to keep a good distance. Adult gray wolves can be between 40 pounds up to 175 pounds, and can be 4 to 6.5 feet from nose to the tip of the tail, so anything from a hound dog to a Great Dane in size. The wolf is a pack animal. Their speed while chasing you can range from 36 to 38 miles per hour. They can also travel up to 40 miles on foot, not that you'd get that far. So if you don't feel like listening to the stay away method and find yourself in the clutches of a wolf, once again, the fight is on and you're going for the soft spots. Before you put your gloves on though, try to look big and make noise. Throw rocks if you have to. If that works or your fight was a success, walk backwards slowly while still making yourself big to keep from round two. Do not turn around and run and do not stare into its eyes. It won't think of it as romantic or intimidating. It will think of you as a challenger Number 1. American Alligator While we do have crocodiles as well, the American alligator is much more prominent. Much like the crocodile, the alligator was also around in the days of the dinosaurs. They've been on this planet for over 150 million years. The American alligator can reach a length of 11 feet and a weight of 1,000 pounds. They're amazing at hiding in the water or on land. They can also attack in the water or on land. Their jaws have a bite force of 2,125 pounds per square inch. These alligators are quick and short bursts is the good news. So if you happen upon one that is not attacking yet, then leave. Easy enough. They can only get to 11 miles per hour on land, so you don't need to be a track star. In the water though, there'd be more of a problem. But again, they are only fast and short bursts. Get out of the water by any means. If you have a knife, use it. But like sharks, go for the underside where it's a little softer, or the eyes. If one latches on to you, try your best to keep it from moving as much as possible till it lets go. If it starts rolling, there's a good possibility it can do some major damage to whatever it has a hold of. Also, the jaws of alligators are only strong one way. That's when they close. You can hold their jaws shut if the occasion calls for it. As a bonus, we can't forget about bears. In the US, we have black bears and brown. I'll start with black bears since they're more prominent in my state. These majestic creatures can weigh between 130 to 660 pounds, with the largest captive male being closer to 1,000 pounds. They're between 2 to 3 feet tall at the shoulders and 4 to 7 feet long, from nose to small tail. Though black bears are considered carnivorous, their diet is omnivorous. They will eat small animals, but they also like to eat plants, berries, and even pine cones. This is yet another animal that is not looking for a human to eat, but they can cause serious damage. They can claw you, bite you, and stomp you. If you happen upon this animal, make noise, seem big, and back away slowly. Same as some others on this list, do not turn and run. But with these animals, you do not want to climb a tree to get away. They may be big, but they can climb a tree faster than a 10-year-old jacked up on caffeine. If you see one with her cubs, do not draw attention to yourself. She will do anything she can for the sake of her cubs, and normal bear characteristics go out the window. All in all, if you feel like taking a break out in the wilderness by yourself or with the family, do yourself and them a favor. Keep calm in any circumstance. Bring a weapon to fend them off, 
or end their timeline if necessary, whether it be a knife, handgun, rifle, or some good old-fashioned bear spray. You can hate weapons all you want, but in some cases, you don't have another option to keep you or your family alive and safe. That's it guys, thank you for watching, and let me know in the comments below if you have any info you'd like to share about animal attacks, or if you'd like me to continue with a video about brown bears and more animals as well. See you at the next video.